Welcome to the two-minute teacher presented by UNMC Faculty Development and the eLearning Lab. Today we'll explore the principles of multimedia learning. In this two-minute presentation, we'll explain the basic concepts of the multimedia principle. When we use the term multimedia presentation, it refers to any presentation that uses both words and graphics to teach a learner. Can you recall any presentation online or a lecture you've been in where only words are displayed on the screen? It's not too hard to imagine, right? The multimedia principle counters this practice telling us we need both words and images for effective learning. Based on cognitive theory and research evidence, it's recommended that e-learning include words and graphics rather than words alone for deeper learning. By words, we can mean spoken text presented as a speech that is listened to via speakers or headphones. Or, by words, we can mean printed text, such as the words printed on a screen that people read. By graphics, we mean static illustrations, drawings, photos, charts, or animations or video that move. The cognitive theory of multimedia learning is based on three assumptions. Cognitive science and research tells us that our brains are wired to receive information in two channels, visual and the other channel is auditory. Visual information can come to us in two ways, printed words or pictures. Audio information can come in the form of spoken words. Learners have dual channels to receive information with a limited capacity for small amounts each in each channel at one time. Active learning occurs when the learners pay attention to relevant information and organize the visual and auditory information into a coherent structure and in integrate it with what they already know. Let's put it together. The cognitive theory of multimedia learning is based on three assumptions. That one, all people have two separate channels for processing verbal and pictorial material. Two. Each channel has limited amount of processing capacity at one time. And three, learners actively attempt to build models by combining the visual and verbal information presented and create connections for deeper learning. When we develop our multimedia content, it should combine both visual and auditory information to help learners effectively create long-term connections. The human cognitive system is limited when it comes to multimedia instructions, so less is almost always more. <laughs> 